this problem, we have to find various things uh, given this data. So these are the, these are the jersey numbers for 11 players uh, that were randomly selected from the roster of a championship sports team. So for example, this is the jersey number 94, this is number 8, this is the player that had jersey number 23, etc. So find the mean. So the mean is uh, often called the average, uh, but in statistics we call it the mean. So if you click this little box here, and you click open in StatCrunch, it puts all of the data into StatCrunch for you, and you get the screen over here on the right, which you see here. So the command in StatCrunch is stat, summary stats, columns. Okay, that's how you can get uh, pretty much all of the answers. Not all of them, but most of them in this case. So again, you click the little box, you click open in StatCrunch, and then you get this screen here. And then you go to stat, summary stats, columns. Okay, I'm going to left click. And then here you can click on VAR1, okay, and then just click uh, Compute. So when you click on VAR1, what you're doing is you're selecting the data. Let me, let me close this and show you. See, the data here is in column VAR1 or VAR1. So Stat, Summary Stats, Columns. Click on VAR1, and then just click Compute. And it gives you a bunch of answers. So the mean, it wants one decimal for the mean. So be really careful with the uh, rounding directions. So 39.1 because it's 0 0.09, so if we round it, we get 0 0.1. Let's try it. Good stuff. The median. The median is 37. The median is the middle number when the data is ordered. That's called the median. Good stuff. Um, the mode. So the mode is the most frequently occurring. So if you kind of glance at this, you want to look at the number that appears the most. Let's say you don't see it right away or you're not sure. What you can do is go to Options and Edit. And then down here, you can find the mode. So it's right there. Now, if I left click, um, it's, everything else is going to go away. So I'm going to hold Control on the keyboard and then left click. And then see everything is still selected. You can click Compute, and it should give us the mode. So in this case, there is no mode. So the answer is no mode. There is no number that appears the most. Okay, And then the mid-range. So this does not give you the mid-range. So to find the mid-range, you have to use the formula. It's max plus min divided by 2. So in the calculator, let me turn it on. It's max, so 94, plus the min. So that's 95, and then you divide that by 2. So 47.5. Now, if you put it in your calculator all at once, it's important to have parentheses, right? So parentheses 94 plus 1, parentheses divided by 2. So be really, really careful with the parentheses in these problems. So 47.5, let's try it. All right, fantastic. What do the results tell us? Well, these are jersey numbers, so um, the, the median and the mean aren't really very helpful. Neither is the uh, mid-range. Um, so let's, I think this one might be right. The jersey numbers are nominal data, and they do not measure or count anything. Right. So the resulting statistics are meaningless. I'm going to go with that one. Um, so let's try it. And that's it. So on these uh, follow-up questions, just, you know, glance through them and just give it your, uh, your best effort. That's it.